welcome back. How much are we loving Real Housewives of Auckland? Yeah, round of applause for that show. Because we are loving it. Now, episode four screened on Tuesday night, and it has been such a ride. We just had to get her back into the studio, and she loves coming and visiting us. Gilda Kirkpatrick, everybody. Yay. Good to see you, Gilda. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling really good, thank you. Good. You always look glamorous, don't you? Look beautiful. Thank you. She's a real housewife of Auckland, honey. Mm, it's yeah, the just right. the standard for the housewife <laughs> yeah. situation. Well, I'll tell you what, before we go any further, let's take a look at what happened on Tuesday's episode. And after a major fallout... I'm kind of over all the carnage. Can these two pick up the pieces? Who I am. I'm a brand. You're a brand. There's change. nothing beyond your brand. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, Gilda, how's it going? Well, now we've finished filming, but, um, you know, every time I watch this episode, it's, it brings it all back, you know, memory lane. It's funny. OK, so we have to ask you, what is your relationship like with Angela? There is none. <laughs> is there a relationship? <laughs> you have got some of the ultimate lines on the show so far. I think you're coming across really, really well. People are loving you because you're saying it exactly like it is. Well, I hope so. I mean, I try to stay authentic to myself and I wasn't pushing anything. I was just reacting. So, yeah. Have you had any tough times since the show started airing? You know, where you've gone, I just want this to end and I don't want to deal with it anymore? Or has it um, been OK? Not really. We were very clear what we were getting into. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I come across as I am because that's who I am. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, which we I can't run from myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> what I was doing watching that show was thinking maybe you're your relationship with Angela wasn't as cutting as it seems on TV uh, and maybe they'd just cut it that way but is it really that tense? I think the producers have done a very good job of making it actually quite soft. Right. Oh, okay, really? yeah. Oh. See, that's why we love you. You tell us what's going on. So it's right. actually worse than what we see on screens. How I is that possible? <laughs> I think uh, the, all the footage that is uh, on the editing floor deserves a show of its own. <laughs> <laughs> Put nice. it that way. The Real Housewives Uncut. Cut, yes, out on TV and Blu-ray soon. Yeah. yeah. Nice work. Um, and what about Louise? Because you guys are very close and neighbours. Have you developed a relationship with her? Do you see her more often? Yeah, we, I mean, we're, we're all extremely busy people. Um, we all have, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So we get together when it's for a, you know, if the production puts something together and... Um, you know, that's good, but in personal level, I just uh, basically catch up with Michelle. Mm. Nice. Yes. Has it been about what you expected, the public's reaction to the show? Um, I knew that it would be very controversial, but <laughs> I didn't, uh, I wasn't ready to kind of become uh, some kind of a favourite, and I have uh, quite a lot of fans who are extremely nice and loyal so no that was beyond my expectations mm. um yeah so i'm very flattered how do you park that big car of yours i've often wondered you know it has sensors everywhere oh, okay. it basically parks itself right, okay but i'm a very 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 confident driver you know you love driving don't you yes, you drive yourself anywhere even though you could probably afford to have someone yeah. drive you around um okay look enough about real housewives because there's so many more episodes to talk about and we're going to get you back in if you don't mind um let's talk about something else that's going on in your life the second and Installment of the Asterons. Tell us about that. Um, I launched a second uh, book not long ago and it actually has been great and I have had a lot of positive feedback from schools and teachers and people who have read it uh, and um, it's great because I, I've been invited to go to lots of different schools nice. and so you meet the... and greet the kids and yeah. So the first book was out last year and it's a sci-fi book, like a comic style book based on, with characters based on the planets. Um, yeah, but it is based on actual science. So everything that you learn in this book, um, unconscious, like you don't know you're learning, but you are, uh, is based on fact, factual science uh, and, you know, the laws of astrophysics and cosmology. So you don't seem like the kind of person, I know I'm typecasting here, <laughs> but you don't seem like the type of person to write a science fiction book. Where did oh, it come calm from? down, Angela. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, um, well, I am, I guess. Yeah. Well, it, okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Is no, it... okay, so what did you learn from the first book to the second book? Did you make any changes in the way you approached it? Um, the first book was a big challenge because it was a whole new concept, introducing all these eight superhero characters uh, based on the eight planets in our solar system. I found that challenging 
to make it not boring, exciting, and it was like, oh my God, there's so much to take on board. On second book, uh, it was way easier because I kind of uh, had a bit more experience in it, and uh, I found that it was way more fun, and you know, I and the size of the second book is basically double the size yeah. of the first book. And looking forward to your children being able to read it too, because it aged from about seven upwards? Yes, um, of course. I mean, I've tried to read it to Lucan, and he has a, you know, he gets the characters now, but he's too young to go. One oh. day it'll click and you'll be like, yeah. yes, mummy's done something that you can really like. This will be really exciting. <laughs> it's a pleasure, as always. I love having you in the studio, because you do, you just, no holds barred, you just tell it exactly like it is, and I love that. Thank I you I think so it's much. a very special character to have, and it's quite rare in this Oh, cool, oh, cool.